So this year, The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City became undeniably the best Housewives franchise. And it threw me for a loop because it was unexpected. I went to Catholic school. You know how Catholic school girls, like the shit and the drama and the tea is just way hotter. There's way more pregnant people. There's way more scandals because of the religious repression. That is why I, that's my theory on why Salt Lake is so much better than any of the other ones, particularly right now. Monica is, you know, she's a time bomb in the mix, but I personally... I find her and her mother to be incredibly, ridiculously entertaining. Like, her mother's insane when her mother was like, and look at this lovely dessert. And it was like, what was it, guacamole? Like, <laughs> and I, I love it. I'm addicted to it because it's, it's so different than the regular drama. Like, I love the regular drama. You know what I mean? I also, like, I like Potomac. But what's really happening on Potomac right now? Literally nothing. Literally the same shit as always. One getting bitches nails done we're still confused karen still being out of pocket candace still being an entitled brat and trying to blame it on ashley everything is the same it's still entertaining but it's the same salt lake salt lake to me i compared to like dating women like the problems that come up are just unexpected and very shocking and it's it's delicious it's simply delicious like even with Mary not even in it, and then when she does come in, she's like, you look inbred. Like, shit like that? What other franchise are we talk are we saying the word inbred so much? And things like, yeah, you sleep with your grandmother's husband. Like, the issues are so much crazier. Even, like, Lisa Barlow, like, singing away in a manger, and then celebrating her son going on a mission to Columbia. It's not, it feels like it's not a real place. That's the other thing, is I would say Salt Lake City feels like a dreamt up world that I could only read about. Like, I don't think I could. And the funny thing is, I have driven through Utah, and we drove literally right past, like, a Make America Great Again store, and, like, poster boys holding their canoes, walking along the lake, and we drove right past Brigham Young. But I feel like if I had gotten out of the car, I would have had to, like, I would have hit my face on a glass barrier that I would have needed access to enter, I would need to pull up with one of those mics and pretend I'm one of those students being like, hey, do you think black people should have rights? And they're like, um, I don't know. <laughs> and then their moms go to these events and they drink tequila and they yell at each other when they're supposed to be meditating. Like, it's, it's the best one. It's the best one. It was an underdog. It's an up and comer. It's fresh. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for the finale tonight. Let me know, let me know, a lot of people watch this now, right? Because I wasn't talking about it before because I couldn't tell if anyone was watching it because I didn't see that many people talking about it. But I feel like now I'm seeing more people talk about it and it's like, oh my gosh, are you guys watching it? Because I'm watching it, so then we could talk about it. <laughs>